Tax court is a one-of-a-kind opportunity for a taxpayer to actually sue the government and file a complaint against the IRS, which you send out as a petition, and it reaches them, and a hearing date gets set. Uh, the reason that you have this hearing date is under the Fifth and the Fourteenth Amendments to the Constitution, you've got substantive and you've got procedural due process rights. What does that mean in layman's terms? It means if the IRS says you owe them money and they want to go after your property and collect it from you, you get to have a hearing and you get to show up with your evidence. So on a date when you're set to go before the tax court, you're expected to come with documentation, records that substantiate your position, which is, hey, I don't really owe this money. Or, hey, I gave my financial documents about what I make to the IRS representative, the revenue officer, and said, I can pay this back. But then they went and garnished my wages or seized my bank account, and they shouldn't have. These are the types of arguments you'd make. A couple of things that everybody needs to know before they go to tax court. Um, you cannot win your tax court case if you don't show up. You got to be there in order to um, have a good outcome. So the first thing is make sure you show up. We just went to a tax court um, calendar call this morning, me and uh, Anthony Dembia from my office, and about half of the taxpayers who filed petitions and took that initial step didn't even bother to show up and all their cases got defaulted. Of those that did come, a lot of them sat quietly, which is fine, and they tried to handle their own case. But there are pro bono lawyers that are available at a tax court um, calendar day who you can talk to about your case, and they're experts who can give you some better insight into what you should do and how you make your arguments to the government, and they'll even help you to do that. Lastly is, this is your opportunity to talk to the government and reach a settlement and to put your case to bed once and for all. So if you have a tax debt and you get a final notice of deficiency that the IRS has determined that you owe them money and they're coming after you for it, think about potentially filing a tax court petition and taking the government to court. Um, I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions at all, please give us a call, 201-529-8024. Thanks.